What's going on everyone? My name is Jared and I am from TechWorks. And I'm starting to do this Wednesday segment idea. And I started last week with me talking about MacBooks and this is my pre-intro intro, uh, for what I'm gonna do. So Wednesdays, the posting is gonna be me talking about something that's on my mind, whether it's you know the news in the tech world, something that's bothering me personally with the tech world. You know, it's obviously going to be you know tech related or, or uh, electronics related, but it's going to just be you know no products, no face down looking at the phone sort of thing. It's going to be camera, me, a microphone, and just kind of expressing things naturally. All right. So without further ado, here is my. Uh, what's on my mind Wednesday bit what's going on everyone my name is Jared and today we are talking about Samsung so the problem that I have with Samsung is your updates your updates just suck So I've had many a Samsung device over the years, whether it's from TVs to appliances to obviously tons of smartphones, smartwatches, you name it, I've probably had a Samsung product in that category. And you know what? You guys make some great stuff. Industry leading design, you know, you guys have tons of money to do with design. Your S9 is on point. It's a great looking device. It's a great featured device it's full of full of awesome things you know your smart watches look great they're different your your TVs are fantastic that's why I have one um, your updates are just you're just not good <laughs> they're just not good and granted your carrier versions have gotten a lot better but I don't buy carrier versions for someone who always would rather buy an unlocked model than one from the carrier store they're awful. I mean, I know now your carrier models are getting pretty much Google releases their update the beginning of the month. Towards the end of that month, your carrier model gets it, and that's great. For people who are buying and financing their phone through T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, whatever, that's awesome. You guys are getting you know security patches a little late, but you know what? I'll take end of the month late. That's totally fine. But what's unacceptable is your unlocked model. You're not waiting for anybody. You're not waiting for T-Mobile to load in their stuff. You're not waiting for it to go from you guys to the carrier to then to the phone. It literally goes right from you. And yet you have the Exynos version and the Snapdragon version. And the Exynos gets updates consistently. You know, countries vary, but on average, very consistently. And your US unlocked model does not. My S9 Plus right here still is on February's security patch. And you know, from the comments of other videos versus you know the Pixel or iPhone or whatever to the Samsung, a lot of you don't necessarily care about security patches and that's fine. That's, you know what, don't let that influence your decision then. But for me with the state of technology and always being up to date and secure from different bugs and hacks and you know, exploits, whatever, I personally want to be close to update it. A month behind, I'm all right with. A few weeks behind, fine. But I think what Samsung does at this point is quarterly updates for its US Snapdragon model. That means four updates a year. I will say that when getting Oreo on the S8 and S8 Plus, Unlock did get that sooner, but very much later than when Google released the source code. Samsung step your stuff up when it comes to your unlocked updates people who are dedicated people to unlocked models again such as myself and I'm sure many people are out there who don't buy into the carrier financing model update it every two months fine buy quarterly perfect and if you even did every month boy I'd be impressed but that is the only thing holding you guys back right now from being top tier and everyone's probably gonna say well they are top tier true you know features performance you're definitely way above a lot of other brands than when you used to have like the S5, which you know wasn't super. 
Um, since the S7, you guys have been doing really, really good. And I appreciate that so much because I do like your products. I love your camera. I love your phone. And you're beginning to create an ecosystem rivaling Apple's with your smart things, your TV, your casting, you know, your smartwatch, I'd say is, is right now the only true competition to the iWatch or Apple Watch. Yet, you're forgetting updates, which is such a crucial, crucial important step. Because you know what, in a few months, Android P will be here. You know, the Google Pixel 3 will release, Google Pixel 2 will probably get Android P right away, or within a week, or two weeks, maybe even a month. And you know what's going to happen? Christmas time, maybe, the S9, S9 Plus, and that, at that point, the Note 9, or whatever they're going to call it, will get Android P. When other carriers, other phones, are going to have it. And I, I just think, at this point, in terms of technology, it's just unacceptable. You guys have such an expansive budget, an expansive R&D, that you can do it. I know you can do it, because you're doing it with carriers, and that's even harder than doing your own unlocked version. So... You know, people watching, take it for what you will. Whether you agree or dif disagree, sound off down below. Um, you know, Samsung is a huge corporation, you know, a lot bigger I, even than, than Apple uh, as far as what they do and how many teams of people they have, you know. And yes, their mobile division is just a small part of that. But there's no excuse when carrier models of your phone are getting software security updates before your unlocked versions. And even with Project Trouble support now, that should just be even easier for you guys to make it happen. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it happens. I really am. Cause you know, right now what I'm what I'm rocking is my S9 Plus and I'm getting ready to uh, to sell my Pixel. And the one thing I will truly, truly miss is timely, timely updates. And again, that's important to me might not be very important to you guys, but it is what it is. So that's it as far as what Samsung is concerned. I did want to touch briefly. Um, so I've received some comments about, you know, looking or acting like this person or replicating this person's style. And just for the record, I'm not trying to go out of my way to copy anybody. I'm not trying to mimic um you know, like Flossie Carter, for a great example, I have cats, it's, and they like to investigate, that's just how it is, and the top-down view right now is just reminiscent of what I can do, and the time that I have to make, record, edit each video, um, you know, I don't have a team of people, I have myself, so it's just easiest for me, and sometimes I get some B-roll in there, if I can, it's just not, not as easy for me when I do work full-time, as well as try to do other stuff for myself and do this as well, it, it's time consuming. And I'm trying to make good videos and I'd rather make a good, simple video than a bad, complex video, if you know what I mean. So I'm not trying to copy anyone. I really am not. There's only so many ways to talk about technology. You're going to end up looking like one person or the next. Um, I hope that people understand I'm trying to give you an honest approach uh, a consumer approach not someone who has you know unlimited budgets that can do everything like I've, I've mentioned in my other videos I usually buy a device use it replace the device I have and sell it so you know I'm just taking one to replace another I don't I if you look at my desk it's not like I have just boxes lined up of of what I'm using you know I, I usually rotate my I guess my inventory every so often I turn it and um, sell before the device becomes outdated, sell in anticipation of a new one. Like I said, I'm getting rid of my Pixel 2 XL. Not that I don't like it, not that I wasn't using it all the time, but Pixel 3 is coming out to get my best return on investment. Now is the time to sell it, not when the Pixel 3 comes out and then this goes on sale from Google itself. So take that for what you will. I am trying to do my best to provide a different approach to content, some how-tos, computer stuff, you know, there, there's a lot to talk about, there's a lot to do, and there is not necessarily as much when it comes to not buying every single product that comes to market. I could sit here and talk about all the stuff at Computex and E3 and, you know, CES wasn't that long ago. And yes, I'd love to buy the new Razer Blade sitting there, but I had a choice to buy a, a new laptop 
which was how could I get my best bang for my buck, and that turned out to be an Alienware, which I haven't posted that video yet. I am going to do that very soon. Um, rather than just purchasing both, like you just just can't physically do that at this time. Maybe someday. But um, I just want to throw that out there for people who may be questioning, you know, my style or what I do. Um, I try to help the most people I can. And without getting super complicated into specs, performance, benchmarks, I mean, an average consumer, someone who's going to go to the store and buy a laptop, buy a phone, you know, they, they want to know what works and what doesn't. And the biggest differences and, and you know, the minute details of of uh, benchmarks and yes this this computer might get two more frames than this computer and that just might not be important so the bottom line the big pictures the uh, overarching ideas are what I'm trying to grasp for someone again I always think about my parents who maybe might not be so technologically technologically savvy as as others what I would say to them to showcase a point, to consider and convince them to buy something versus the other without boring them with details. And some people want the details, and if you do, I encourage you to look up the benchmarks and of course do your own testing. Um, but for those of you who don't and just wanna know, you know, why should I buy this? That's what I'm trying to do. You know, there will be some of my videos, I will get technical, I'll get super technical, talk about a whole bunch of different stuff, but majority of my videos are going to be appealing to the group of people that just want to know the answer. You know, my, my videos might be longer because I'd rather have a longer, more helpful video than short and sweet and cut out things that maybe people might not know. You know, one of my most popular videos right now is the Whitestone Dome Glass uh, installation for the S9 Plus, and that is about 20 minutes. Well, that's going to be reminiscent of exactly how long it's probably going to take you to do it while reading the instructions. And rather than, you know, do it, fast forward, do it, fast forward, and create a, a five to seven minute video of just the highlights, I, I'd rather go through the whole thing so that people know what to expect. And people, you know, maybe there is an issue that I run into. Maybe there isn't. So you can see that. I did a phone repair video that I haven't posted at all yet. It was an hour. It was an hour long. And I wouldn't post an hour long phone repair. That would be very boring but um it would be a long video even if i cut it fast forwarded it you know time lapse it whatever it would be a long video it would definitely not be 10 minutes so take it for what you will that's just me somewhat explaining uh my process my method and you know what maybe someday i will have the ability to make these super creative you know directed videos with tons of product shots better cameras better equipment but you know, if you ever see my reflection in, in technology that I'm showcasing when I do just the top down, you know, basically head mounted camera, um, I'm using a phone to record. And no, you know, people making these videos are not gonna, you know, they're gonna frown upon that idea of, oh, you're using a phone to record. You don't have professional video recording equipment. Well, I have no idea if this will take off. I'm not gonna spend hundreds of dollars on video cameras, setups for an endeavor that may or may not work out. So for now, I do the best I can with what I got. So that's it. So everyone, this is my Wednesday segment. Uh, this one is obviously a little bit longer due to my explaining, but um, it's going to be a consistent thing from now on Wednesdays, talking about something uh, that's going on, problems, solutions, interesting stuff. So anyway, my name is Jared. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.